This video gives some more definitions about sequences, including the definition of bounded and the definition of monotonic. A sequence is bounded above if all of its terms are less than or equal to some number. In other words, there's a number, capital M, such that the term a sub n is less than or equal to capital M for all values of the index n. A sequence is bounded below if all of its terms are greater than or equal to some number. In other words, there's a number, lowercase m, such that a sub n is greater than or equal to lowercase m for all n. We say that a sequence is bounded if it's bounded both above and below. In other words, all of its terms are trapped between two numbers. Please pause the video and decide which of these three sequences are bounded. This first sequence is bounded above by 3, since all of its terms are less than or equal to 3. Of course, we could have also used 4 as an upper bound or 100 as an upper bound, but 3 is the tightest upper bound that we can use. It's also bounded below by 0, since all of the terms are positive. So we say that this sequence is bounded. The second sequence is bounded below by 1, but it's not bounded above, since its terms will eventually grow past any potential bound. The third sequence is bounded below and above. In fact, if we graph n on the x-axis and a sub n on the y-axis, then our terms bounce around between positive and negative values. But since we're always multiplying by negative two-thirds to get to from one term to the next, the oscillations are dying down in magnitude, and in fact, the terms can never get above three or below negative two. We say that a sequence is increasing if each term is less than the next term. That is, a sub n is less than a sub n plus one for all n. A sequence is called non-decreasing if each term is less than or equal to the next term. So a sub n is less than or equal to a sub n plus one for all n. Non-decreasing is like increasing, it's just we allow equality between two consecutive terms. A sequence is decreasing if each term is greater than the next one. So a sub n is greater than a sub n plus 1 for all n. And a sequence is not increasing if a sub n is greater than or equal to a sub n plus 1 for all n. Again, non-increasing is like decreasing, but we allow for equality between consecutive terms. If we were to graph n on the x-axis and a sub n on the y-axis, then increasing looks like this, just like an increasing function, whereas decreasing would go down, non-decreasing would go up, possibly with some flat patches, and non-increasing would go down, possibly with some flat patches. Notice that increasing is a stronger condition than non-decreasing, since being strictly less than something is stronger than just being less than or equal to it. For that reason, if a sequence is increasing, it is also non-decreasing. And similarly, if a sequence is decreasing, it is also non-increasing. A sequence is called monotonic if it is either non-decreasing or non-increasing. Please pause the video and try to decide which of the following sequences are monotonic. The first two sequences are monotonic. The first one 
is monotonically non-increasing since we never increase when we go from one term to the next. In fact, we could also say that it's monotonically decreasing since we always go strictly down as we go from one term to the next. We never have equality between terms. The second sequence is monotonically non-decreasing. Since we never go down as we go from one term to the next, we either go up or stay at the same level. In this case, however, we could not say that the sequence is monotonically increasing because of the equality between some pairs of consecutive terms. The third sequence is not monotonic. The numbers bounce around between positive and negative numbers, and therefore sometimes we are decreasing while other times we're increasing. And the fourth sequence is not monotonic because of the first few terms. However, from the fifth term on, the terms are monotonically non-decreasing, and we could also say monotonically increasing. In this video, we gave definitions for bounded and monotonic sequences. We'll see later that these definitions can be important for determining when a sequence converges.